So this is our bench drill. Very similar to a pillar drill. The difference is the drill bed sits on the bench there, as you can see where the base is. Uh, it has the pillar going up from the base, going up to the top where the motor is. Over here, we have the safety guard. Lift the safety guard up so that you can see where the chuck is. This is the chuck here. The chuck is the part that holds the drill bit. Put your left hand on this top knurling just here. You're going to put your right hand onto this knurling here, the textured surface. Left hand on the textured at the top, right hand on this textured surface at the bottom here, on the chuck. And you'll turn your hands towards each other, like so, which allows the drill bit to fall out of this hole right here. So we just have a look inside there. So that's where the drill bit goes inside there. And if I turn the chuck round like this, you'll see that these three little jaws, as well as coming out of the chuck, they also get closer together. And the reason they come closer together is so you can have different sized drill bits inside there. So if I, have it about, if I leave it about there now, and I can put a four millimeter drill bit in here, a bit loose in there now. So I'll just tighten that back up again and try it now. So that's a bit better. So I'll tighten that. So I've tightened it just enough so it nips the drill bit. Then I'll put my left hand on the top knurling again, the right hand on there and just turn your hands away from each other this time that tightens up the chuck so now i'm ready to drill put the safety guard down and set up uh, make sure my work's all clamped down before drilling the hole okay so that is how to safely operate the pillar drill or the bench drill um, we'll talk about health and safety in a later video thank you for watching So if you want to raise the height of the bed, you turn this handle. At the moment, the handle is locked in place. So before you turn the handle, come out to the other side and just loosen this quick release lever here. Turn it to the left anti-clockwise. Then you can rotate the handle up along this, what they call rack and pinion mechanism, where you turn the lever and the lever operates a cog inside here the cog then rotates against these zigzag teeth on this vertical uh, piece of metal there as you can see so that raises the bed height and brings it closer to the drill bit once you've got the desired height just rotate that quick release mechanism again lock it into place Depending on what it is you're drilling, you may or may not need the wooden board, which is placed on top of the drill bed. If you are drilling into something very light and thin, you'd use the wooden board, you place your work on top, clamp the work down to, you put a G-clamp around it, holding your work and secure the bottom of the G-clamp underneath the bed, underneath here. If you're doing something which you can put into this machine vise, then you would move the piece of wood, the wooden board from the drill bed and place the machine vise on here instead. You put your work in here, in between the jaws, tighten the jaws up nice and tight, you can't, so the work doesn't move around. Select the desired working height of the bed and then continue to proceed drilling the hole into the material.